Hey there everybody, um, my name's Krista, um, I am known as Little Wren. Um, just wanted to uh, come on, it has been a long time, <laughs> it's really been, been about three months. Um, I actually did a reading this morning, I just felt finally cold and um, I probably went for probably an hour and a half and it actually stopped like probably a few minutes in and it was something after I said something about effective change <laughs> so um but it was all about kind of divine feminine energy um, I've kind of still left a few things out here from this morning so it was yeah it was uh, probably six hours ago or something like that that I that I um, did this full message uh, I can see that there's a light on my camera now so if that goes out I will be certainly paying attention to make sure that uh, I don't keep going although um, like I've said before on my channel, whatever I say for you is also for me. Um, I am held to high account for anything that I say on this channel. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, on the twin flame, uh, in the twin flame phenomenon, uh, everything is a mirror. Everything. Everything. <laughs> so, um, Please know that um, whatever I say for you, it will also be a personal message for me. Um, and so it turns out that this morning, this message that I channeled was probably a profoundly uh, pers personal message. I'm I still um, kind of a little bit confused about it, but it was very much about the divine feminine energy. Um, and what I was, a lot of what I was sharing was my journey and experience and um, some of the things that were happening for me and, and all that kind of thing, but maybe that's meant to be still a little bit hidden. Um, and that is certainly something that I kind of have alluded to a lot in my previous messages is something about the divine feminine energy, um, kind of remaining hidden, unseen, um, and, or hidden away rather hidden away um, so um, there is very much a, a shift in the energy um, on a personal note if this lets me go through with this <laughs> on a personal note um, I am I've just been I've begun uh, receiving downloads for masculine energy um, and I also had felt a big shift um, from the coming out of the feminine energy it was like a release the release uh, something was released anyway um, I've got some ideas I've got a lot of information a lot of things that I've been learning and and receiving from spirit it hasn't stopped the journey has not stopped do not think for a second that if I if I haven't been um, uploading anything whether on my website my little Wren website there's a little button on my uh, YouTube page you can have a look at to check that out where there's over 230 messages um, don't want to keep going on about that I just want to focus on the message so there's a button if you want to go and check it out um, and yeah I've just been called not to to kind of uh, move forward on anything but today uh, I definitely um, am feeling like uh, as a divine feminine, I'm beginning to call to activate uh, and start to heal my masculine energy. And that can only mean one thing, my friends, is that the masculines are, the, the divine masculines are opening up to their divine feminine energy. And I certainly felt that in a really big way. And it's come as such a relief, like such a wonderful feeling. Um, it's exciting and it's actually activating my masculine energy as a divine feminine that my masculine energy that's been sleeping um, being dormant um, the more the masculines awaken their feminine their own feminine divine feminine energy their yin energy um, they will 
inadvertently, whether they mean to or not, uh, help awaken the masculine energy in a divine feminine person or a person who embodies greater divine feminine energy. And that, of course, has a, um, a result of creating effective change <laughs> throughout the rest of the world, which is a really exciting and beautiful thing. I am seeing so much um, a change as this at this really poignant time. So um, without further ado, um, I kind of just want to start shuffling because my last uh, reading I did this morning was really long um, and I had so much to say because it's been such a long time um, being away from my YouTube channel, from you guys on my YouTube channel. And so um, here we are again and let's just see what happens. Um, I earlier had looked at the um, this I can't remember what it's called I'm sorry it's called a blue appetite or something like that um, but it's really this this always is very profoundly a throat chakra activation um, as far as I'm concerned and I got called kind of grid it with a clearing energy there was something about clearing I really had to do a big clearing this morning um, which is not something I actually get called to do very often I'm not so ritualistic even though <laughs> despite what you see as uh, many other people are um, but I got really called to do a cleansing and uh, this Tibetan bowl here is a uh, throat chakra bowl and this was um, a, 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 a sound bowl, singing bowl. I don't know where I'm losing that words, but um, I got called to clear this with this this today, and um, so um, it may be that um, the masculine um, dichotomy of of the twin flame kind of concept in the world is is actually starting to learn how to speak their truth, how to. Um, yeah, um, I speak, it's something to do with communication. So um, anyway, I don't want to mess around because I don't want this to cut short. Um, if spirit wants this to go ahead, then we will get the message. <laughs> and I don't want to ramble on as much as I did before. So it's really uh, uh, interesting. Um, but I have to tell you that uh, in my first, for the first half of my twin flame journey and I do believe that I'm at a very very yeah it has been such a clear halfway point for me um I can't speak on behalf of my masculine and I'm curious what what's been happening um for him um however um for me it has been a profound shift and I'm so grateful because I've oh it's like when is this coming to an end and didn't really understand what was happening, but actually it's all starting to um, become very, very clear. Um, yeah, so I think we're, we're heading into a shift. Um, so just so you know, these messages that I give you are timeless. Whenever you come across them, you come across them and it will still be relevant. You'll receive this message at the right time. Um, nothing is um, outdated, okay? The messages are still the same. I can talk about my experience, but it doesn't mean um, that you're in the same stage. Although if you're listening to this direct message, it likely means that at your time, not at this time, not at this date, not at the same time as me, but in your time, you're in this similar process. Uh, so yeah, um, let's just see how we go. Um, but everything has been so femme. My cards have been so masculine prior to this energy shift. Um, and then suddenly it's like, I mean, I've got you know, girl, I have this incense here, which is queen of the night. It's like the divine feminine rose quartz, sexy little body that she is. Um, and um, everything's just been like flowers and pink, you know, it's been divine feminine energy. Um, and it's been such a wild experience to go suddenly from everything being so masculine, 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 um, to suddenly here we are entering divine feminine. Um, so 
yes, I do believe that the reason why I'm getting this divine feminine energy now is likely because my masculine is entering his divine feminine stage. So, um, yeah, and as I'm entering my masculine healing stage, it's the, the mirror image, the opposite for, for your counterpart. So, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it is pretty cool. Anyway, let's just see what we've got here for a minute. So before when we were talking, we were talking about, um, I think I was kind of mentioning something about the stages, you know, cycles, um, wheel of fortune, you know, um, yes, it can allude to luck, you know, good luck, bad luck, um, that kind of thing. But um, really it's about um, a new cycle into something um, and it's it's in the positive so this is really really exciting I feel like for um, you know yeah there's been a healing a very positive healing and now we have to um, look at the next stage of that healing um, yeah okay look at this we've got a battle so we've got our seven of wands Wands is our passion our fire energy um, and it's been fighting off these things um fighting off things that we feel like maybe they're not good for us when in fact there's no such thing as uh, i was just uh, processing this today certainly that there's no such thing as a good or bad uh well anything and i know that might sound a little bit tricky um especially when we've experienced very toxic bad things or terrible things um but Everything comes down to experience. Dolores Cannon, if you've heard that name before, if you haven't, you can look her up on YouTube. She's um, She has passed away now. Um, but she talks about the fact that we come to this earth for experience and to learn something very specific. Eckhart Tolle talks about um, that we actually need to experience suffering in order to know that we no longer require it. <laughs> That's a little bit of a tricky one as well to get your head around. A lot of um, philosophy uh, and, and thinking about why we experience certain things. Um, but to understand that, you know, nothing has, there is nothing without value. Everything has value. So um, the question is, um, what have we been fighting and what cycle are we entering into? Um, let me just see. I think I'm going to... Mm, sorry, I never planned this out necessarily beforehand. I have to go with how I feel. Um, and that is all I can do. Hold on a second. Um, I've got so many cards everywhere, it's crazy. Okay, we might do our energy oracle cards just to see where we're heading. I'm interested that this is still in the upright um, because I certainly feel like I kind of wouldn't have been surprised if it was in the reverse. Um, for me, I, I certainly feel like there's been some kind of a surrender, like there's some kind of a, a freeing of a battle. Um, I, I feel, yeah, the word is surrender. Um, and certainly this is something that spirit calls us to, to do um, is that when we don't surrender, he kind of escalates things until we do. <laughs> it's, it's quite wild. Um, if you're on a spiritual awakening, you will understand what I mean. Um, and if you don't, maybe you will start to observe what I mean. <laughs> and you go, oh, that's what Crystal was talking about. Um, so let's just see what we're battling here. Interesting. A door to romance and healing healer of the ages it's kind of a jesus-y thing but there's this is kind of in the background this is what is um being battled um so um we'll, we'll just keep going and see where this heads i very occasionally i'll get like the guidance but often for me it's about 
just keep shuffling until we get the answer. <laughs> so we will just keep on going until we find out what the story is, what we need to know. Thank you, Spirit. Walking away. Yeah, okay. So we've walked away from the, a door to romance and healing of the ages. Um, and what's interesting is that the battle is, is this um, masculine energy. Um, maybe the masculines are still doing that so um, in some way or form. Um, you know, the thing about this lady is that she's, she is walking away, but she's looking behind her, con you know, it's that constant, have I done the right thing? Have I done the right thing? Um, and, um, there's very much that Jesus kind of, uh, a figure, you know, the, this is the path to healing, <laughs> you know, and, and it is actually a very, uh, difficult and painful path very often. Um, so okay so the wheel of fortune is so there's a cycle a question of adjacent what's behind this door what's behind that door um so there's still a lot of questions okay these are in reverse okay i'm gonna just turn these over so we can read them properly We've got the seventh chakra, um, Archangel Uriel. Now this crown chakra. So um, this is where, this is a feminine. These are all the very, very much the feminine energies. So there's a, still a sense of um, bashful. Is it still a sense of spirit or if it's... Sometimes we get shown the past or the present and I won't know until we continue on. Um, but the, the crown chakra is still closed off the world, similar to the cycle. It's an end of a cycle. And the temple path, again, is in reverse. So there's a call by, by that Jesus figure to spirit to come down the temple path. Um, there's a sense of walking away. Um, um, so there's messages being received very, very clearly. Um, and an end of a romantic cycle of some description um so yeah uh well i do feel like i'm gonna scoot this over here we're gonna scoot this further over here and um just see um but uh there's something about the clouding of this this battle this intense battle fighting 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 it can't be it can't be is what i'm hearing um Patience, but please be clear about where you want them to land. Now, this can be for divine masculine, for divine feminine. You can choose. You select your own. You know, uh, what's one of those stories that you choose your own ending? <laughs> choose your own story. What is it? I don't know. Um, you can determine whether you're a divine masculine or you're a divine feminine. It's up to you, truly, um, which way you feel you are. Um, I feel like this is like a passing. I think the, the reason, the thing I'm getting is that's a little bit uncertain is that there's a sense that um, this is only possibly a beginning um, and there's a feeling of, oh, if I just keep looking elsewhere, if I just keep looking elsewhere. So there's still a sense that there's a call to surrender to the path, but the, there's, a, there's still a battle. There's still a battle going on at the moment. Um, so, yeah, let's just see what happens. Whoop. Okay, this is a hidden energy. Um, and this came in reverse. So this is the thinking woman. So there's potentially a feminine that's got some not so great intention. Um, so it is in the, it's a little bit of a hidden energy. Okay. It's not flying anywhere. It's just something to, to be aware of. Um, mm. Okay. So yeah, interesting. 
Um, so what we've got here, I'm going to pull this out, is um, over here, um, again, there's a sense of, uh, okay, so there's still some things we're shutting down to, but there is some things we're awakening to. And this is a divine feminine type of an energy. So crown chakra, um, kind of throat chakra, and the third eye is all kind of those uh, divine feminine energies. They're the intuition, the inner guidance, um, the inner world, all that kind of stuff. So there is an awakening of the third eye. That's being able to see things really clearly and looking at what are the other options. Um, something, again, about other options. I'm um, not going to use those other ones yet. Nope. It's quite a lot. Hold on. So we've got woman holding her heart, but she has come in reverse. The second chakra, Archangel Uriel, which is your sacral chakra. That's that kind of happiness, pleasure center. And oh, look, man. Um, interesting. Okay. Wow. Okay. Hold on a second. They both came. Wow. All right. Um, so, oh gosh. So you kind of got a, a couple here, a partnership. Um, you got, they're both, they're actually each other's counterparts. Um, you have man holding a heart and woman holding a heart, but they actually both came in reverse. And yet in the center between them is a second chakra archangel, Ariel, which is the sacral chakra. This is the pleasure center. This is the, there's something about this. Uh, wow. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry. That's really, um, interesting considering I would have thought she would have come in the, the reverse, but she's come in the upright and yet both parties are there's no love or something about this and yet there's a sense that they're holding on to this as this is pleasure this is good this 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 feels good and yet um i'd say that there's two people here who actually don't feel good um yeah very interesting and the thinking woman came out before, but she was in reverse and that was hidden. Um, so we have an angel of balance, which is interesting. You got two unbalanced people kind of makes a balance, I guess. You got the thinking man and you got goddess of the moon, which came in reverse. Um, and I think there's something to do with the masculine energy. Um, I think there's a the look of um, thinking about balance looking at what's before him, um, learning to trust his third eye, learning to trust that intuition. And yet it's still, I think, very, very blocked because the goddess of the moon is that high priestess energy. This is divine feminine energy. But when we talk about twin flames, we always talk about um, the, the unification or the imbalance in self. Um, not about unification of your twin flame um, uh, partner, um, the energetic kind of twin flame person, the person. Um, so there's a sense of the thinking man looking at this, there's deep inner thought. Um, and there is a sense that this is kind of just the early stages. Um, and this is beginning to look like past energy. Um, although there's still a sense of a battle, there still is a sense of a battle. Um, so this um, sacral chakra is sitting between these two. Um, I don't know, there's something about an alignment with that, but actually it's like, it's not true. There's something about you can't have this. This this is like a, like a weird. Oh, I I can't explain that. That's a, a really strange um, a situation where you've got two people who kind of claiming love, but there's no love. Um, and yet, here's that sacral chakra sitting in the upright. And I I I I can't explain that. I'm gonna kind of leave that to you guys for a minute, um, and we will keep on going. Um, I was being called to the Akasha 
records before, so we will look at that. Soz. <laughs> Um, we'll see what they have to say. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Okay. We've got the the lookout card. That actually, I have to go and have a look and see what that is over there. But what you can see here, uh, number seventeen, is the lookout and. He's looking out and yet can't see, he's not looking at the fire that's about to sink his own ship um, that landed on, on over here, man with a queen in reverse. Um, so yeah, um, this is, uh, again, we're still looking at, um, it's so interesting. This is just coming, sorry, my mind's being challenged a minute and I'm gonna probably have to think about this for a minute after this reading. Um, man holding a coin. So again, we're still looking at masculine energy despite that today I did such a femme read but I wasn't able to upload it. So it's like, yeah. Again, the feminine has to remain hidden from the masculine for a time. So there's something about, again, a man holding a coin in reverse, which is very similar to that King of Pentacles, um, but there's something about holding it in reverse and um, something coming, a bit of a, a storm warning, so to speak. Um, yeah, I've got to find this card, sorry. Hmm. I think that goes along a little bit. I'm, I'm going to read it in the upright. I felt like pulled to read it in the upright. So this is Seven of Scrolls. This is Intricacies and Industry, which actually really kind of lines up with the personality of the, the man holding a coin. Um, this is a very industrious man. This is someone who, um, who works very hard. Um, and yeah, so this is uh, whether something's coming. Um, I would, of course, love to know if anything has happened or it does happen. Um, but there's a sense of, um, I guess, just a little bit of a warning. Um, yeah. Let's just see. Thank you, Spirit. Cool to try this other deck. This is, I believe, the After Tarot. Um, yeah, just take it as it comes. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. So this is this is probably the closest thing to the Tower um, in the Akashic Records um, Tarot deck. This this particular deck. Um, but it looks like a tower came. So this is past energy. So it came, has come in reverse. So I think, yeah, some kind of past tower. Just sit on that table. Hidden again. Eight of Swords. Um, this is looking behind the normal Eight of Swords. Um, this person is like bound, they're blind, they have crows circling them, three crows specifically, and there's eight swords. In the um, other, the original deck, it's actually, to me, when I look at the Eight of Swords, it's one of those ones that's about trusting your intuition because it's about being guided to the right sword and the right sword is going to free this person. 
and it's a feminine. Um, and again, that certainly alludes to divine feminine energy of trusting intuition um, and not shutting it down. Um, but it did, uh, I think it did come in reverse. So again, there's um, some blocks still um, that are still being worked through. Um, but again, this was kind of hidden, so I'm going to put that back. That was a, some kind of a hidden energy. Um, and often when I mean by hidden energy, sometimes it's things that we just, we literally cannot even remotely connect to or see. And it's not until spirit kind of uh, helps us see clearly that we can look back in retrospect and go, oh my gosh, this is what that meant. This is what this meant. This is why this happened. That's why that happened. And you kind of sometimes have those um, events that happen, but they make sense later, <laughs> not at the time. And um, so there is something about that. Okay, uh, so the justice card just came out and there's someone fighting over a baby. This is very much a um, Old Testament Bible kind of a situation where you've got King Solomon and you've got two women who are fighting over a baby and uh, King Solomon was known to be the wisest man in the world. Um, so they came before him and he said to them, right, I'll cut it down the middle and you can have half each. And the woman who wasn't the mother said, yeah, okay, that's fair enough. Let's do that. And then the real mother was like, no, give the child to the other woman because she had love for the child. So she wanted the child to stay safe. So this is something about that, um, that image of, um, sorry if you can't see it, um, where it's like, yeah, the, the true mother will release the child to, to live, um, whereas the false one will actually allow the child to die. Um, yeah, so some very interesting. Um, okay, so we've got two of chalices in reverse, two of cups in reverse. Not much different there, it's just the other side. Um, and yeah, so the, um, and the five of cups, this is the one that's uh, where there's someone who's really, really full on, really despairing. They've lost three of cups, but they haven't turned around yet to see the two of cups. And there's the two of cups behind this one. Um, and it's in reverse. Um, something about, yeah, it's still. Not obvious. And then we've got our justice. So there's something about this energy that there is going to be justice. The right thing will happen. The Yeah, the one who releases the baby is the true, is the true one. There won't be any contest. It'll just be really obvious. So there's actually nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. You don't have to overthink it. The one who releases is the true mother. Mm. Um, so I've got the angel prayers here. Um, we'll see what they have to say. Um, I think that's going to be probably close to it. Okay, they didn't come out, so I'm not going to take them. Is there anything else here? Whoop. Whoop -hoo. Um, change in transition, Archangel Azrael. Thank you, Azrael, for leading me safely through this change. So there is a really big change occurring. The miracle of nature. Thank you, angels, for helping me to reconnect through nature and fresh air. So there's something about uh, and nature and uh, utilizing it to um, settle self, to calm self, to be uh, refreshed. 
um, and yeah, just to follow that path. Trust your vibes. <laughs> so divine fam. Thank you angels today. I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. Trust your own intuition, not what someone tells you, not even what I tell you here. You trust you all the way and allow what comes to pass, comes to pass. Um, yeah, so there's definitely the, I'm going to say the root chakra there um, with, with Azrael color red and it's all about safety um, the question of your truth what makes you safe um, yeah Oop. and express your creativity thank you angels for helping me to express my inner creator and I'm going to suggest that that has a lot to do with manifestation again it's divine feminine energy so there's something about the divine feminine energy here um, that is awakening and vice versa over here um, a sacral chakra awakening as well masculine feminine kind of awakening um, so it's happening on on two sides um, mm. Connect with music. Thank you, angels, for inspiring th me through music. I know I get a lot of messages through that, and um, it's wild. So if you're here and you're experiencing, you can get messages, you're receiving messages from your counterpart, then don't doubt it. Don't doubt it, because I'm. your counterpart will be experiencing the same thing. Speak your truth, Archangel Gabriel. And that's what we started with, wasn't it? Our, our throat chakra, an opening of the throat chakra. Speak your truth, Archangel Gabriel. Thank you, Gabriel, for helping me to speak with integrity, absolute truth, to not be um, fearful or worried or in denial or um, feeling like we can't do it. Um, there's a healing and an opening of that so on that note I'll give you uh, a prayer card and then we shall leave it at that I think so yeah trying to keep it kind of short and sweet for what I do <laughs> the last one was so long um, it was obviously just for me here we go. Okay, look at this blue again. So blue is always uh, throat chakra. It's coming up a lot. So there's something about that. There, there's an opening. So don't be surprised if you are experiencing um, uh, throat problems, throat sinus. This is like, so you've got your third eye and your throat chakra over here. If this is something that you're um, becoming aware of, um, you can get a lot of sinus infections. You can get sore throats, lots of um, tonsillitis and throat infections, um, even chest infections, um, stuff like that. Um, but all of that sinus throat chakra, um, third eye chakra, um, you can just be getting like the flu and getting sick and sick and sick. And this can be a sign of, of it trying to unblock. Um, so yeah, so it says trust. When love is invited to take over, right actions arise at the right time. Allow me, dear divine, to wait patiently until the timing is right. Let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. Um, really, this is just so great because that is very, very divine feminine energy. The divine feminine um, really um, waits upon the Lord. You know, they kind of wait for instruction. Um, but they, they trust that whatever they're meant to be doing that day is what they're meant to be doing. Um, they don't, you know, try and feel bad or, or think that, you know, oh, I had to achieve this, this, this and this. That's very masculine energy. It's very masculine energy is very, you know, planned and um, rigid and you, you make a plan and you work the plan and you make it happen. Divine feminine energy just really trusts the process. So there's um, kind of a request to 
to keep going, to keep trusting the process and, and simply to step into allowing, surrender, release, all that kind of thing. And courage, dear divine, uh, sorry, dear divine, um, divine courage is not the absence of fear, but a nudge that says, keep going, do it, don't worry, <laughs> all will be well. You have to get quiet enough to hear it. Dear Divine, may I feel your courage and your will. Again, it's really just about trusting the process. I kind of feel called to do a little bit more. Whoop. feelings yeah okay again this is very very divine feminine energy that's what divine feminine energy is it's about feelings it's about sensitivity it's about trusting self trusting what you feel is right um, and very often we think we can feel something but whenever we have uh, um, this is a mindfulness practice but whenever you hear things like I should be doing this or I shouldn't do that or I should feel this or I shouldn't feel that um, I need to I have to all of those kind of things are, are actually kind of blockages and denials of our actual truth our actual feelings and when we take away those shoulds needs to have to's um, all those kind of things then we can just sit in the space of I feel um, yeah so anyway feelings emotions want to be felt you really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it so this is the difference between the feminine and the masculine the masculine you can the diff, i always describe it like this is that you can know something but until you feel it you won't fully understand it um it is stepping into the emotion of it not just reasoning it or philosophizing or logicking it. It's not just logic. You have to unite logic and feeling so you can logically understand something, but when you feel it, it is like takes it to a whole complete different level. Um, feeling it, feeling um, a truth is is part of the divine feminine energy that needs to that is awakening um so i mean it's one step at a time you you get guided to what you're meant to know when you are meant to know it and not rush it through um so yeah you really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it allow me dear divine to offer all emotions to you feeling them fully so that they no longer hold me captive when we repress our feelings um, we actually, um, it throws us into a myriad of, of, um, unhelpful things like anxiety and depression and, um, despair, you know, um, all kinds of, uh, crazy actions. Um, but it's, it's a little bit of a tricky one. Um, but it is directly related to that divine femme energy and it does take some courage to do that so again this is all about divine feminine energy um self-expression self-truth feeling and um the not just logicking something it's not just knowing something you can know it but you you won't fully know it until you feel it um so that's a really strong message there i kind of wanted to get rid of these but at the same time i start shuffling so i i do want to shut this down kind of a little bit quick but spirit is there anything else that we can um finish on otherwise striving um yeah okay um again this is the difference between masculine and feminine energy uh eventually the individual ego's drive to make things happen this is masculine energy falls away replaced with a relaxed trusting openness to answers as they arise thank you divine for letting me move with the flow and that's the diff this is like dis a description of the difference between divine feminine energy and divine masculine energy um divine masculine energy makes things happen and the divine feminine energy allows things to happen and 
that can trigger a lot of people, especially when we're trying to um, uh, keep in control or, um, you know, we can get very triggered when we are very controlled or we're very rigid about things. Um, because sometimes when we release that control thing, um, it can cause us to feel um, unstable, unsafe. Um, and honestly, I cannot reinforce that is the biggest difference between the divine feminine and the divine masculine. The feminine energy just listens and allows and gets moved by the wind. Whereas the masculine needs, uh, seeks grounding. They start at that root chakra. It starts from earth. It starts from the ground up and they, um, they need that sense of safety and stability. So to, to trust in, the divine feminine energy is like the entire opposite. It's the ultimate opposite um, experience. Um, and it's the same for the feminine. The feminine um, can very much struggle with grounding because it's like, it's so, it feels, it's like energetically draining. It's hard work. It's like, why does it feel so hard when you're so used to just kind of floating through um, kind of life? Uh, it's, on one hand, one struggles with grounding, the other one struggles with with um, flow, with just allowing. Um, it's the biggest, biggest difference. Um, so yeah, um, I don't want to keep going with that. I don't want to open that. Um, I will close just with a star seed oracle. If we can sum up this, um, and then we'll close it off. Um, and say, hey, how you doing? Long time no see, strangers. Um, <laughs> I'm still alive and still well and well weller <laughs> better um <laughs> intuition <laughs> sorry I had to take that that just bounced out intuition divine femme this is the most important thing my dear divine masculines as the divine feminine energy in you awakens this is where it's about trusting the inner guidance through the crown chakra through the third eye and um, allowing the flow of spirit to just awaken you so you can sense your way through the world not just logic your way through the world and it is the vice versa for the feminine okay the feminine needs to um, feel the power of their masculine energy, feeling more focused and more aware and present on this planet. <laughs> um, yeah, choice. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. And what I want to be clear about this is that um, when, it, when we talk about choice, um, what I believe in terms of choice is that when we are programmed a certain way, we don't, we actually don't have a choice but to follow our uh, current belief program structure that is, has been inbuilt to us as children, as we've grown and developed as people. Um, but that is changeable, effective change, <laughs> coming back to that again. Um, we do have a choice but it is a lot of work it is uh, a certain amount of work to hear what our current programming is um, we don't just um, force ourselves to be different if it doesn't feel right we probably shouldn't change we shouldn't do it we've got to do it in a way that feels right first that's where the divine feminine energy comes in we have to feel right about doing what we're doing but we also have to question that divine masculine um belief system structure um it's about you know questioning is what i believe um working firstly is it working is it continuing to work is it true does it lead me to my happiness does it lead me to joy and um, um, my that best life type of scenario or is it actually my current beliefs that used to keep me safe are they actually no longer beneficial so that's the big question, my my dear friends. Um, I shuffle this, but I don't want to keep shuffling. Make me stop. Make me stop. <laughs>
anywho, my dear loves, I, I hope I've recorded this. It still looks like it's recording. Fantastic. Um, yeah, and I truly wish you well as you continue your awakening journey, your ascension um, experience. And um, I, I can only hope that you um, soon find peace. And I, I promise you that you will, if, but you do have to keep going. You have to keep going through the challenge. Um, so yeah, my loves, I wish you well all the best and it's great to be back today i again i don't know when i'll be back um we shall see <laughs> one day at a time hey all right bye